Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark's Farms. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, it's all appreciated, it helps the channel. Um, this week we are do doing a bit of work on the mower, just fixing it up and fixing lights and different things like that. Um, we also will show you a bit more work with the tank with the dribble bar and we'll give you our final verdict on it, See what we, let you know what we think of it. Um, and then finally, yesterday, me and a couple of the boys went away to Farmflex on the pull day, which is an absolute fantastic day. Um, but yeah, so we'll be showing you just a few small clips I got out yesterday. Um, yeah, so, so let's get at it. So today, myself and Gavin, Gavin's just waiting to get um, a few bits there, but uh, myself and Gavin is going to have a look at the lights on the mower. Um, I know it's not really a, a, a major issue, the lights working on a mower like, but it's just something that these couple of lights and all have been broke uh, this while um, and get the bulbs and all fixed up and all. It's just it's now wet as the old day, so we might as well get it done now. Um, so them lights have been broke this long time. I, uh, we, we did get that more new years ago, but uh, I don't know how long they broke a broke railway now. So I have new lights there, I'm just going to stick them on and get the other lights fixed up. So yeah, so let's get at it. Hi, somebody was thinking when they're on that. Handy chains. Let's get the wee flathead screwdriver now. So that's that off. Um, I'll just go and do the same on the other side here, and then we'll be able to wire the new lights into that. That should be fairly straightforward, I imagine. Now, so. Here is my two new lights. Um, I have to get these stuff on here, and they should be handy enough. That's us fixed on now, anyway. I'll plug it in here.
Oh, that's that side done. Walking perfectly. Um, yeah, Gavin's just walking on the other side here now. Big question is now, will Gavin's side walk the same way I mind it? Oh, he's not all that, all that bad there. <coughs> no, that's not a job done. Happy days. So, um, just up here with the halves and bollocks we have on the race either field, just going to make up another paddock here. Uh, we've got another roll of wire here, I'm just going to run it across here. Now, this top side of the field, you can see on up at the hill there is not too bad weeds. Down here is brutal. Um, I think I'm going to chance taking the tractor and topper into it. Um, just to see if it's going to mark it or not. If not, we'll get Michael up in the tractor and topper and I'll follow behind or something. And we'll see if it's, if it's making marks or not. Ground's in an awful, awful wet state. Like. So we've uh, I've run the wire in there now. I'm just going to try and put the wire into this reeler here. Um, not easy on one, one hand, is it? Right, so that's it, fade into the reeler there now. Um, I put a new clip up on here. I'm just going to clip this on to that and tighten up the wire, then put the post in. So, yeah, there it is. Right, so we've that all done, I'll connect it up and all. Um, we've actually split the paddocks even smaller again. We've split this big long paddock here, we're split it in half now. Um, just a bit of having small and changing it off rather than one big paddock. Um, yeah, so we'll get the cows away here now and shift them across. So, with the lap three we got them in the paddock. You need to swear they didn't want fresh grass. Um, but looking at this here, is this all way laid the way? Um, it's not a bike definitely. Just, obviously, we still have the weed issue there, but yeah, it's just well cut down. So, a fresh bite of grass there now. Do them well. So, um, we just had Michael down here and put him with the topper. End of this bit of reseed ground. And lucky enough, the tractor travelled on it really well. Um, very little marks in it. So we got all them thistles and darkens and all tucked in that first paddock. So we'll leave it now and see what it does. Hopefully it's starting to clean it off a bit and leave it a bit tidier looking, but it, it, it made a good job but now definitely tidy it up. We left the top or sitting up a wee bit just through the skids won't run run the grass all the time. Um but yeah, made a good job of like so it did. Thank God. So today we are up in a neighbour's field here. He contacted us um, last week saying the field had overgrown on him and got away on him. He used to have horses on it, um, but unfortunately the horse died at the start of the year. So we contacted us and said, would you cut it for him? And he said, you can keep the bales and all on it. He says he just wants the ground tied up. So last week we came down, I didn't get video on it. Um, just we're sort of got a dry spell at all, we're just going to guns blazing at it. Uh, so we got a cut, this is the field here. There was, I think we got about, um, 
we got about 35 bales on it, so it was all, all healthy. It wasn't the best of grass or anything, it was real old, stemmy stuff and all. So I said to him, what about spread with a slurry on it, spread with fertilizer on it. The, slurry, the ground hasn't been slurried in years. So he said, yeah, go for it. We get now cut of it then. So Michael here in the PM and the tanker with the liberal bar system on. He's spreading away out of here now. Um, yeah, so it should, should make a good job in the ground. Um, we get a cut now in the middle of September, hopefully, if all goes well. It is quite steep though, that's the only thing. Um, I know Mike from down there at the tanker yesterday, he slid way down the hill on him. So you need to watch, but no, it's, it's a good patch of ground. Um, so there's a couple more fields on up around here. So we've the cattle on it here now as well. They're grazing away at it. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's got a grazing part of the dog um, yeah, so Mike is using red tanker, he seems to like it alright, but we get a chat with him later on to see what his final verdict is on it before she goes back. Um, to see what we're racking. So, I was talking to Michael last night and the two of us walked around the tanker and had a look at it and seen what their final verdict was on it. Um, absolute great double bar system. Um, very little could be said that, to, to fault it other than, I'll just go around the other side here. Um, we found the mass radar was very low on it. Um, which doesn't leave you much ground clearance uh, as you can see from here that may be a slight issue I think anyway it will have its pros that when, if, it, if it blocks or it clogs up or anything it's easy easy accessible, it's easy worked out and all um, yeah the hose is all easy all got out too um, I also like the way the double bar on the front it's leaving more weight on the back of your tractor. It's not leaving all the back of the tank whenever it's empty. Um, I also think with the higher end of it, it's far more far easier to watch it. Do you know, it's not all the back of the tank. Do you know, so anybody who's actually going to hire the tanker mightn't have any experience in it. Um, it's easier just to keep an eye on coming coming out from ditches and stuff like that. There. Uh, the other thing I don't really like about it is <clears throat> whenever you're starting a, a row off um, you know you also have the length of the tank so like you'll have one you'll have one section done at the back and then your two front bars these two front bars will be doing a section at the front so there's always there's always this gap here you know with with, with no slurry on it so but obviously you'll just do a run around the headland then when you're finished but it means you're trapping over the top of stuff you've already slurried um but I don't really see it as a major issue, like it's not it's not something that would put me off buying one of these. Um I would definitely th th to be honest there's nothing really that would put me off buying it. Um I would say if we were going to go for one we'd be putting on a new Abbey tank and we'd be getting one with bigger wheels on it. So that would leave the mass reader sitting a good bit further up. Um which would I'd say cut out the problem of it being too low. I, I, I just, uh, I think them we small wheels are, are useless um, compared to the, compared to the big, the big tires on them, you know. Um, so yeah, good, good machine all around. As I say, we'll not be just rushing the buying one yet. We will look into other makes and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, I was happy that they dropped out. You can't complain about that. And we got a good trial at it. And it was definitely a good machine. So once again, thanks to McBride Agri and Newtown Engineering for dropping the demo out. Um, there was no questions asked on it. And it's always looked, have it as long as we want. And so we'll uh, take her in, get her washed tomorrow. And then they'll come lift it then, you know. Yeah, so definitely it, it, it's, a, it's a high container on the list anyway. 
So, as I said at the start of the video there, um, yesterday me and a few of the lads got away to Farm Flex's day of on the pole. An absolute smashing day's crack it was. It was unreal from start to finish. The, did, the, the weather in the lead up to it wasn't great and I left the place got there at the start but it, it got a fair dry in and it was great, absolutely fantastic. A few showers and stuff but they had a uh, marquee and stuff and all uh, for if you want to run in. We just stayed outside and just put the coat on the umbrella on, it was dead on. We had the wellies with us and it was a wee bit gothy but it wasn't It wasn't too bad, it was, it was manageable. Well. But an absolute fantastic day, great turnout for it. All, it was just all real, real organised, every, every angle was covered. Um, also a great cause, it went to the there was, uh, proceeds. Uh, well, some of the proceeds went to our ambulance, which was, which was brilliant. So fair play to them. I took a few clips of it. To be honest, I was just there enjoying it that much. I, I didn't even have the camera out that much, like. But I did take a few clips of of some unreal yokes of it. Um, so I throw them up here now just to let you see. But yeah, fair play to them. Unbelievable day. Right guys, unfortunately that is all we have time for this week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, drop any comments below you have, um, especially about dribble bar systems and all, and yeah, anything at all. Um, don't forget we have a new video out every Sunday, um, there's a very few videos there if you want to watch back in them. Um, yeah, so all the best, good luck.